Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Today we will talk about the HR service configuration. So this is the series of the HRSD. So this is uh, almost 8th session. So we discussed a lot of things in previous sessions that uh, how, what are the roles is required, how we can do all those stuff. But today we will mostly focus on the HR service configuration. HR service configuration is a very important topic because uh, mostly uh, whenever you create a case you select the HR services right so in that case HR service configuration is a very important factor so I hope you will like my sessions but uh, in this case please uh, listen carefully to uh, each and every steps is very important in the HR service configuration so without wasting time let's get started So very first thing is that we'll, before we talk about the HR service configuration, we have to know that what is the HR service. So if I go back here and then here if I type the HR service, you will be able to see that uh, here HR service configuration this module. Under this module you can see um, we do have uh, 48 basically um, record. Okay. Now if I go back here in our previous slide. Uh, here we talk about the COE. Uh, what is the COE? So we use nothing but it, uh, extended child table. Uh, we talk about the topic category. We talk about uh, the um, topic details, and then last the bottom is the HS service, where whenever we are creating the case, uh, so whenever we are going to create a new case, we are just selecting that HS service on the bottom, and based on that HS service, it was generating that particular flow or particular action it is taking that right so so in that case HS service is a very important topic as I mentioned so once you select the HS service based on that your um, your uh, COE will be uh, generated right so let's today we'll talk about that payroll uh, we are going to create a HS service regarding uh, payroll so we'll talk one by one so today uh, our HS service that custom HS service we are going to create that that name is the payroll issue let's say that it's a payroll issue and then coe will be the payroll okay what we are going to do here um i'll uh, talk about that hr service configuration first in the hr service configuration very first thing is that you have the required role sn hr core admin role and then as i mentioned that if you type the hr service configuration you will be able to see all the hr services from there we have to create the hr service configuration now the very first thing is that or the important factor is that if the HS service or the HS services will be available into the employee self service or then the uh, portal then you don't need to follow these steps. Remember these steps one more time very carefully. If the HS service are going to be available on your portal or the ESC portal employee self service portal then you don't need to follow these steps. These steps only if the HS service will be available in your native view. In that case, we need to follow this step. If you see, uh, see here, we already uh, mentioned in the document also, if you are creating a new HS service and plan to make it available on employee self service, see HR service catalog item configuration instead. Create a new HR catalog item automatically create corresponding HR service. So, uh, whenever you are going to create, if you are thinking that the HR service will be available into your portal and then whenever you are going to create a new HR catalog item, it will be automatically create the HR services. So you, for that, you don't need to create HR service. It, in that case, it will be duplicate. Okay. But in case, if you are looking for only native view, then go for the HR service creation. So we'll do today for the native view. In the, uh, in the HS service configuration, uh, if we type HS service uh, conf configurations, so basically whenever you create the catalog item HS service, it will automatically insert a one record here. So you don't need to create manually here. But our case, we are going to create a new um, HS service today. So very first thing you have to click the new and you, it will be open a new form where you can create your new HR service. So very first thing is the HR service name. So in this HR service name, you need to define the HR service name. So uh, for our today's example or today's demo, HR service name, uh, let's assume that HR service uh, uh, name is the payroll issue. So we'll do that payroll issue here, put the name. 
the value will be automatically populated like the when you create the field it's automatically populate similarly the value will be automatically populate fulfillment type will come to that point here uh, you need to be select the topic details so let's select the topic details and here we uh, will select that payroll um, here so we need to be select the payroll related uh, um, COE and these are the payroll related COE so uh, and this is the topic uh, uh, details we have once we select the topic details topic category and uh, category uh, this COE will be automatically populated okay so now once you created this one our uh, next thing is that uh, you can see that this active is required definitely and then we need the open uh, for approval view these things just select by default whatever it is automatically available we'll talk that uh, this part later uh, what does it mean by that okay we'll select this one and here we'll select this uh, one of these uh, second one we'll further discuss what does it mean by that case create case options and hr criteria we don't need to be uh, think about that record producer we don't need to be think about that yeah HS service additional information if you want to put some additional information you can define otherwise you simply uh, uh, just uh, save that once you save that once you save that that uh, HS service will be created and then here the important factor is the template where we can select the template and based on the template it will be create the uh, HS services okay We'll uh, select any of these default template for the time being and later we'll uh, create our own template and we'll discuss about that what is the template and how we can do that. For the time being, we select the very basic and very simple H, uh, uh, you know, HR case. Now, what will be happen? Whenever we'll create a case uh, with the payroll issue, it will be create a under the payroll table and it will simply uh, set some of the basic value and then it will be closed that from where the basic value will be set it, the basic value will be set from the template so if i open this template if i if i open this template this is the payroll and uh, discrepancy template is available and in this template uh, there is a field called templates uh, on the template there will be specific value will be set this value will be basically set to our um, skill will be set to the payroll this short description will be the payroll description see and this value will be set to our uh, you know the whenever the new uh, case will be created so let's first go and create a new case and see how it will be looks like that so if i go back here and then uh, we we'll type the create uh, a new case and uh, open that here and here we will type that able tutor and here hs services will select that payroll uh, issue and then once we select the payroll issue uh, uh, we can uh, select any of this information and then simply create the case it will be create a case with a simple uh, short description and skill so what skill it will be set skill will be select the uh, payroll and then short description will be payroll description set. so let's uh, see that once you, you can see that uh, the, the hr uh, is created and uh, the case is created it is under hr payroll case and then it is opened by that opened by user and the short description is said the payroll discrepancy and the skill is said as a payroll these two value payroll discrepancy and payroll is coming from the template and then assignment groups uh, is coming from the uh, you know assignment rule we talk about the last sessions and then once we move to the ready to work based on the skill um you know match based on the matching rule it will be assigned to the particular user this point we have already covered that now uh, we'll talk about that what other uh, we can what other complex things we can create that okay for that we have a very important things called the fulfillment type so what is the fulfillment type so we have a fulfillment type is the service activity workflow advance uh, flow we will talk one by one so manual uh, manual uh, is uh, if you see the back end name is a simple right so manual we talk about that the direct value will be copied from the template and it will be paste right 
we'll talk the service activity later but we'll talk about after that the workflow so once you select the workflow the workflow name is not coming here this workflow name will come from the template itself so you don't um, this workflow name will be automatically come from the template if you select that next advance if you select the advance uh, advance is means that uh, service activity plus workflow is that advance. okay now if I come back to that flow so once you select the flow you have the options called flow and you have to select the flow flow means that whenever you uh, you know a, a HR case will be created uh, that case will be created here there will be one flow will be attached based on your HR service configuration and then based on the flow it will be derived so you don't have to worry about that one similarly for workflow also okay now we'll talk about the service uh, activity what is the service activity uh, so this is the complex scenario the service activity in the service activity you can generate approval you can generate the task without uh, you know without any workflow you can put the order simply and it will generate the task and approval one by one based on your configuration okay so we have also options for automatically close uh, close case when you click that um, it will come to two uh, fields these two fields are simply uh, uh, help you to um, when these things will be automatically closed you have a two options all to do's are completed means that all action needs to be taken care if you see here uh, i mean it's uh, back end name is showing actually because i have this and utility utils installed uh, so this is the it will show that all the complete all the tasks needs to be completed properly or only the mandatory to do's needs to be completed then this uh, the HR case will be closed that you can define here and here close offset close offset means that after number of days after taking this to do's uh, how many days it will be wait and then it will become you know it will be automatically complete so it will be two days five days seven days after that it will be automatically complete that okay we talk about that uh, you know uh, 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 case creation uh, service configuration so if you need any specific fields in last we talk about if you need any specific fields you can uh, um, you know select that case creation configuration okay if you have not checked that please go and watch that previous now we'll talk about that uh, we talked uh, almost all the field name field value field we talk about the fulfillment type we are going to cover the service activity later we'll talk about the uh, topic details category coe automatic close case these are the things we talk about now we'll talk about that record producer record producer means that uh, um, this catalog item or this HR service will be available into the portal in that case we need the record producer we'll talk about the further whenever we will create the uh, catalog services from that um, there now we'll talk about the case creation so in the case creations i uh, will deep dive further but in the i just simply in i'll talk about in a simple language then the case creations um if you see in this payroll issues you might need to ask your um uh, you know uh, user that attach some documents right in that case we can select here and then there are pre we will create maybe other khr uh, service options but you can see that um, there will be uh, many uh, uh, you know K, uh, HS service options automatically create the document do not default subject persons keep auto sign these are the options they are there it will automatically do some actions let's say it will generate some documents or maybe it will ask some extra documents these things will can be done by HS service op options now HR criteria so uh, like in the record producer we have a user criteria in the user criteria we know that for which user that uh, that uh, catalog item will be available similarly for HR criteria we can define that for which user this um, uh, uh, this HR case will be available so we can say that uh, non it all non US users for all non US user the HR criteria will be created okay and can define that um, or else you can create also in your own HR criteria okay open for and then subject person task as in we'll talk about this later and then finally um, we'll uh, talk about that uh, here uh, checklist uh, 
where using the checklist you can create some of the checklist that whenever someone is going to fulfill this requirement or whenever the HR case will be created in the HR case there is an option called checklist in this checklist what are the checklists needs to be followed you can define here so we'll check that uh, check uh, uh, attachment is available or not attachment and the next checklist will uh, do that um, uh, highlight uh, the issue so these are the checklists we are going to uh, check from the further okay and next things we'll talk about the HR service activity in our next sessions but uh, in these sessions uh, you know now uh, if you see here whenever the HR case is created there was no uh, no approvals or there is no task at the moment but using that uh, for the simple um, uh, 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 language using that uh, you know um, service activity without creating workflow you can create multiple uh, multiple tasks multiple approval we'll do that the things in the, our next session so that's it for today thank you very much have a great day